Hey guys, thanks for joining the group. I thought I'd do a quick video on replenishables. Uh, creating a Google Sheets sort of replenishable list uh, is a great way to sort of replenish your items and quickly filter what you need. Uh, and let me just show you quickly. Uh, here you see your sourcing sheet. So you have like the Amazon title, the ASINs, the SKU, uh, the store. And what you want to do is create another tab. And this is basically your shopping list. So it's just basically filtering information. So what you do here is if say it's replenishable, uh, you can just put one here and what we'll do, it will come up here. Um, it just makes it easier. You can create a shopping list. So if you just do it for all of them, you'll see they all pop up here. Um, so what happens is you have a store here and you have a drop down here. So Disney and then you'll see all the little Lego bits. So when you're shopping at say Lego or Disney and you want to see what you bought before, uh, you can quickly filter through. Uh, you can also do it through category like this. So the first step is to create a replenishables column. And this is sort of a zero one on and off sort of button. Uh, just create an empty column and yeah. And then go on to this page. And what you need to do is you need to query the information from the inventory data. Uh, so if I just go over here, you'll see the formula here. So if I just quickly wait five seconds, you can pause this and copy it. Next step is go to the right. And like an array formula here. And this basically gets the store name uh, and brings it across. So you want this formula here. And then you want it for the categories, this formula here. So just yeah, write this out and hopefully get it working. And then you have the drop down box, and this is just normal title, normal title. And then here, it's basically you need to create a data validation. So you have the cell, uh, cell range, which is A2, yeah, A2, which is this one. And then list from a range, which is Y5, which is down here. So that range, uh, tick this, reject input, and that's it. And then the categories is, yeah, B2, same as before, list from a range, and then same as this. And then, yeah, hopefully that gets it to work. Another good column is to have this link sort of column. So if I click here and then click here, see so you have the A's in here. It just takes you to the Amazon listing. See it here. Uh, so the formula for this is this. Um, I'll do a part two, but another thing you can do is you can connect the Amazon MWS. Uh, and that will, what I would do is it'll give you sort of a live data. So what you can do is you can bring in the sales price, you can bring in the, the sales from the last seven days, the last 30 days, uh, your total stock, and you can work out the units per day, days left, availability, inbound, rank. Uh, so it basically gives you, um, you know, seller board, seller toolkit in Google Sheets, essentially. Uh, it's good to have both of them because those are good, but you can't filter it by store. Um, so obviously when I'm, dropping from wholesalers and online retailers. I always just filter it by this and then I can see all the latest information and exactly how much I need. Um, but yeah, hope that helps. Uh, let me know.